Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. 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 We serve an awesome God. Yeah, we do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel the same way that's been said several times already this evening. Amen. I believe this is the year of great things. Yes. Amen. amen. It's a year, amen, of jubilee. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. It's time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, amen. I won't keep you standing long. If you just turn to Luke, the fifth chapter. Luke chapter five. Amen. We're going to read a few verses. Luke chapter five, beginning with verse one. Man, and it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Amen. The only reason they were washing their nets was because they were through fishing. Amen. And he Amen. entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. He sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a drop. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we've told all the night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will all let right. down the net. Amen. They had tried to do it on their own. Yeah. Amen. With their own work, their own muscles, their own strength, yeah. amen, and had caught nothing, amen. But whenever Jesus says do it, amen, you better obey, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net break. Right. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. All right. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. All right. That's kind of what we've been talking about tonight. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time to fill the ships. All right. Hallelujah. All right. That's not my title, but it's good. Amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12 through 14. Philippians 3. Amen. Beginning with verse 12. Amen. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect. But I follow after, if that I may right. apprehend yeah. that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, right. forgetting those things which are behind, yes, and reaching forth unto yeah. those things yeah. which are before, yeah. I press toward the mark for the prize right. of the high calling right. of God in Christ yeah. Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor, if you would pray. God, we thank you Jesus, for your word tonight, God. God I love Lord, you. I thank you, God, for Jesus, this. God, I ask you that you would anoint the lips of clay, God. Uh, anoint Jesus our ears. Here you are. Anoint our hearts, God. Uh, let it suffer. That will give you the praise and honor. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, 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 Jesus name. Amen. amen. You may be seated. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My little simple thought tonight, my title is A Little Further. All right. Amen. A Little Further. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we were driving one evening a few years ago trying to find a certain store before it closed. We were headed out of town and seen. Uh -huh. And so we turned around, we headed the other direction, thinking maybe we'd missed it. Amen. We drove and drove, but we were unsuccessful. All right. We turned around and we headed back the other direction. Man, drove just a little further than we did before. And there was the store. We had stopped and turned around right before we got to where we were going. All right. Hey, man, have you ever been there before? Yes, sir. Hey, man, too many times it's like that in the spirit. Hey, man, God gets to moving in a service. God gets to moving like he was, right. hey, man, this morning. Hey, All right. Amen. Hey, and again this God. evening. Amen. Hey, hey, and we're right there. We're on the brink of a yeah, breakthrough. Hey, if we God. just push just a little further, Hallelujah. if we just push on just a little bit more, hey, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not God's desire to keep us from victory. It's not His desire, amen, to keep us, amen, from going over, amen, that water flow, that waterfall, so to speak. Amen. It's not His desire, amen, to keep us from the move of His Spirit. 
right. Amen. He wants to take us a little bit further. Yes. Amen. But it's us. It's our yes. flesh sometimes. Amen. That holds back. Right. And I don't know if it's fear. Amen. If the enemy just talks to us and tells us, amen, not to do it. Amen. But, amen, we sometimes, amen, we've got, amen, we've got to have a breakthrough church. Yes. Amen. Amen. We've got to have, amen, revival. Hallelujah. Yes. This year. Oh, the Lord is coming back yes, very yes. soon. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There came a time when God was ready to take Elijah up <laughs> by a whirlwind into heaven. Right. And he and Elijah left Gilgal together. Yeah. Amen. And Elijah told Elijah, stay. Amen. Stay. God told him, amen, to go to Bethel. He said, stay. Yeah. He said, no, you don't understand, man of God. I'm going to go a little further. Right. You don't All understand. Right. Right. Amen. Where you go, I go. Your God is my God, so yes. to speak. Amen. Amen. You don't understand, Elijah. Amen. Oh, but I want a double portion of what you got. You don't understand. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go just a little further. I'm going to push on just a little further. You don't understand. Oh, I believe the man of God was testing him to see. Amen. Was he going to stick with him? Or was he going to just stay behind? Was he going to stay behind and miss the double portion? Was he going to miss the mantle? Oh, hallelujah. But Elisha said, I'm going with you. I'm going to see you when you leave. I'm going to be there. Amen. Amen. The sons of the prophets. Amen. They had the same opportunity. They were right there along the side of the road. Amen. But the Bible says, but they, they watched. Amen. From a distance. Hey, I don't want to be one of those that's just looking over. Amen. What's going on in the church over there in Abilene? Amen. But I want to be smacked down. Right down in the middle of it. Amen. This is my church. This is my revival. Hey, this is my pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to press on just a little further. Oh, it may not be comfortable at times. Amen. At times may get sticky. Amen. But I'm going to press just a little further. Oh, hallelujah. I want revival more than I want anything else. Hallelujah. Oh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God blessed Elisha. He gave him a double portion of what Elijah had. He used him mightily because his willingness to go a little further. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Second Kings chapter 13, beginning with verse 14. Now Elisha was fallen sick of his sickness whereof he died. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down unto him and wept over his face. It said, Oh, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. And he took unto him bow and arrows. And he said to the king of Israel, Put thine hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elisha put his hands upon the king's hands. Amen. He said, Open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot. And he shot. And he said, The arrow of the Lord's deliverance. Right. And the arrow of deliverance from yes, Syria. Sir. Yes, sir. So thou shalt smite the Syrians in Aphek yes. till thou have consumed them. All right. Amen. Verse 18 says, And he said, Take the arrows. Right. And he took them. And he said unto the king of Israel, Smite upon the ground. Right. Amen. He said, Smite upon the ground. He didn't say, How many times to smite? He just said, spite upon the ground. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The king took the arrows. Amen. Right. Right. Three times. Yeah. And he stayed. Amen. The Bible says he stopped. Amen. And the man of God was wroth with him. Right. And said, yeah. thou sure as hast smitten the ground five or six times. Then hast thou smitten Syria till thou right. hast consumed right. it. Right. Right. Whereas right. now thou shalt smite Syria. But thrice. Right. Amen. I realize that the man of God did not give the king an exact amount of time to smite the ground. Amen. But he said, smite it. Amen. Smite it. Oh, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. There has to be, amen, something that rises up against our enemy in our hearts. Amen. Did we say, devil, get me behind me, Satan. You're not going to ruin me. You're not going to take me down this time. Oh, come on. Elisha was saying, he was trying to tell Joash, if you would have just gone a little further, if you would have pushed a little harder, if you would have pushed yourself beyond the norm, you would have had victory over your enemy. But now you'll only smite Syria three times. How many times do we miss the will of God? Amen. When he's trying to give us victory over our enemy. When he's trying to give us that joy that we've been longing for. That revival we prayed for. Oh, but we didn't go far enough. We didn't push far enough. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Matthew 17 and 1 says, And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart. It was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias yeah, talking with on. him. Oh then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Uh -huh. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one yeah. for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. All right. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Right. And on. behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face. And were sore afraid. All right. Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. Amen. Be not afraid. Right. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes, amen, it seems like fear just grips your heart. Amen. Whenever you're trying to push a little further, when you're trying to go a little bit farther than you've ever gone before, amen, when you want to take that leap of faith, amen, amen, fear grips your heart. Amen. But Jesus said to them, be not afraid. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. When they lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Jesus surrounded himself with 12 disciples, as well as those that were in the crowds who followed him. But there were times when he wanted to take them just a little further. Just take them a little further. Yes, sir. Amen. Brother Wiley, you were searching. Amen. What would have happened if you had just given up in that right. church Come that we on. talked about tonight? But you went a little further yes. when you came to Abilene. Yes. And Come you on. found the church. Oh, you found the truth. And now your family's in it yes. tonight. Hallelujah. You went a little further. Hallelujah. Every one of us, amen, at some time or another, we had to force ourselves. Though we were scared, though we were shaking in our boots, we had to force ourselves to go a little further. Amen. Church, again tonight, it's time. It's time to go a little further. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I don't believe that Jesus had favorite disciples. I don't believe it. But I do believe there was a desire in Peter, James, and John right. Right. to go a little further with right. the Lord. Right. They had a desire. Lord, where you go, that's what I want to yes. do. Hallelujah. It may not be, amen, popular. It may not be the best right. thing, right. amen, to everybody else. Oh, but I'm going to go a little further. Amen. There may be others that gave up along the way. There may be others who said, oh, it's never going to happen. But I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to press on. I'm going to press on. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. There was a man. When I first met him, he was living in a car. And I saw him. As God began to bless him, right. God delivered him from drugs, from yeah. methamphetamine. Yeah. Amen. You couldn't believe the, the change that came over him when God filled him with the Holy Ghost. All right. And God began to bless him. He blessed him with a family. Right. He blessed him with a beautiful home. Yeah. Everything that you could imagine. Yeah. 
Yeah. I got to admit, in my heart, there was a little bit of jealousy. Yeah. Just a tinge of jealousy that said, God, I want a family. I want a home. All right. Amen. And I saw as this man, he began to pull away from God. He wouldn't go as far as he should have gone in prayer anymore. There were times he showed up right when it was time for church to start. There were times, and man, whenever, my God, my God, my God. oh, the power of God would move. All right, shut up. And he would just stand there. He would just stand there. He's lost his family tonight. Oh, God. He's lost his family tonight. He's divorced. Amen. He's back. I don't mean to say amen in a glorious way. I pray for him. My heart is burdened right. for him yes, yes, because yes. he just wouldn't go far. I know there's a call on his life when right. I first Come met on. him. Yeah. Amen. We would go to the church late at night and pray. Amen. And we would take turns behind the pulpit. It may not have been right, but we would preach to each other behind the pulpit. And he had an anointing on him. All right. But he just didn't go far enough. He didn't quite push far enough. He didn't quit push high enough, hard enough. I don't want to be that way tonight. I know God has plans for each and every one of us in this church. God has a plan for you and me. He wants to take you to great heights. He wants to take us to great depths tonight. Amen, amen. James 2.19 says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Yes, sir. You believe in only one God, that's great. That's what you're supposed to do. Yes, you know, the devils, they believe that too. Yes. Don't just believe in one God. Amen. Yes. But go further than you've ever gone before. Trust in God. Follow God. Obey Him. Amen. Let's get sensitive to the voice of God. We need to take that step of faith and go a little further with the Lord. Church, if you would stand tonight. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, God, I realize we started on a high note. Man, I just wanted to obey God tonight. I just want, amen, to go as far as God will take me. Amen. I want the blessings of the Lord. I want that mantle. I want that anointing. I want to see this church, amen, to go so high. Amen. To go so far. All right. Amen. Not just to buy the property right. across the road and build a church. Amen. But to build another church yeah, and on. another church. Yeah, amen. I want to see amen, every soul that this city is saved. I want to see it. All right. Amen. Come and I'm willing to go as far as God will take me. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. To see it. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My God. In Jesus' name.